this as the HUD I would fight. You think up Mandela, you've got an image in your head immediately. And I, de I definitely felt the pressure of that. One of the things I discussed a lot was like, I look nothing like him. I said, I don't know how we're going to get around that. And Justin was really not concerned. He was like, nah, I'm not worried about that. So we're going to show the inner man. We're going to show his presence. That's what you're going to bring. We're doing Mandela as we see him. Idris Elba is a star and he's a good man. And I had an instinct about him because he is very an instinctive actor. Do you realize there's a war out there? The people are angry. We are all angry. I am angry. You are angry. But you must show loyalty. It's fabulous working with Indres because he's such a brilliant, brilliant actor. I had the opportunity, very fortunate, to sort of play a younger side of him that no one really knows much about. <laughs> I still felt anxious, you know, like when we would shoot in Soweto, for example. The boys say Sophia Town is a slum. This is their, you know, godfather of Mandela, and in walks Idris Elba, some of them who they know, some of them who they don't. But, you know, are they going to go with me or not? Sophia Town is to be bulldozed so they can build houses for the rich. <laughs> Let them try. It became emotional when some of the audiences just bought straight into it. We say over our dead bodies. Yeah. You could feel the presence just moving. Just amazing moment. Hallelujah. I heard you have a lot of girlfriends. I'm different. Idris Elba and Naomi Harris with this fantastic chemistry that these two people have, these extraordinary actors, they are firing on all cylinders, both of them. I mean, it's electric. Naomi Harris said, this is really romantic. I was like, yeah, it really is. <laughs> so, I wish I did this with my boyfriend, not you. <laughs> Tell me about the arrests. Usually they wait till just before the girls come back from school to take me away. So the girls will find an empty home. They think about these things, you know. They think about me a lot. Yeah, Naomi Harris is just the force of nature, man. You know, she's so amazingly dedicated. How do you bear it? By hating them. Fearless. And don't tell me I'm wrong. It keeps me strong. We'd go into those scenes and just go for it. You're Winnie and I'm Mandela, right? Right. She really embraced the challenge with me. It was great. Really I'm great. Stressed. But it's true, you did. The Winnie that we're showing isn't this kind of caricature that's been portrayed before. This is a real woman who's been through a real ordeal. It needed an actor that was not afraid to scratch underneath that. And Naomi certainly got depth as an actor. She has a warmth, but I also know she's got steel to her. No children. You can't take them in. Don't touch me. You're Don't touch me. The thing that I struggled with was her bitterness and her hatred because her journey forced her to have those things, you know, and finding a way to connect with that and sustain that was the hardest thing for me. But I did that by just imagining people saying, you can't sit there, you can't get on this bus. And I found this rage, like, just at the very thought. Where are my children? Where are my children? What have you done to my children? I think its message is so powerful. People are going to be touched deeply by it. Amanda! Younger audiences don't get the chance to see a living legend every day. Heroes are far and few between now. 